What's up guys? Uh, today's video is going to be about detailing products. Um, so I, I do have some, what I consider to be some pretty nice detailing products for, that I've accumulated over the years, but I don't think anything really cuts it for exactly the type of caliber I should be applying to a car like my GT3 RS. So I'm going to step up my game and I'm going to take you guys shopping with me. Stay tuned. All right, so there are pretty much three different brands, maybe four different brands of products that I'm interested in picking up. So uh, let's start with um, Ammo NYC. This guy uh, is a, the guy that owns the brand, I believe, is a, um, he's a pretty popular YouTuber, actually. I'll just show his YouTube channel real quick. So Ammo New York City. <laughs> I can't talk, New York City. Um, Ammo NYC YouTube. I forgot what the guy's name is, but he is a master detailer. Um, and he, he really knows his stuff. I've heard really good things about his products too. My neighbor actually said that he bought a bunch of his stuff and fit his car. So easy, and he said specifically so easy to keep up the maintenance on, on the wash. Like you, once you do like your first big wash with I've his stuff, your uh, maintenance of keeping up the good one. So anyway, here's the ammo. He's, a, I guess, he's a big Porsche guy. He guys think mostly like older, air-cooled ones. Um, but he's, I've seen him do paint correction on some GT3s and uh, Ferraris and McLarens. He, he has some pretty high clients. He's on the East Coast. I wish he was over here. If he was, I'd be like hitting him up. I'm sure he wouldn't answer me, but I'd be at least trying to hit him up and see if I could get him to do, do my car, teach me how to do my own car. Um, wow, he has 728,000 subscribers. That is, that's pretty impressive. I quickly realized that cars... Um, all right, so he has his own website. And also, you guys have been giving me a lot of feedback. Thank you. Um, a lot of comments coming through all of a sudden. Like, just boom. Man, my, my, channel's, my channel is pretty dead until a week ago. And all of a sudden, subscribers flowing through, which is great. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Um, and a lot of... A lot of uh, comments, including, you know, you get the, the really nice people, which is great. Thank you. Um, some constructive criticism, which I love. Thank you. Uh, and then the trolls. And I actually, I kind of enjoy the trolls too. So keep on trolling. Um, but a lot of, uh, a lot of good constructive, constructive criticism talking about focus. Uh, no, I don't have ADD or ADHD, but I also don't usually plan my videos out. I did one video that I planned out very well, and it was my Amazon leasing video. I had a whole game plan written out ahead of time so i will try to do that more often but most days it's just like i only have half an hour to jam through a video and do that before i need to get ready to get go to work right so um this is a little bit planned out i'm gonna try to stay focused for you guys and feel free to criticize me if you think i'm not focused but um so ammo we're gonna talk about ammo new york city we're gonna talk about uh rag company uh, we're going to talk about Meguiar's and then I forgot what the other company's called, but they make uh, like the big buffing orbital buffer things, but it's ammo has it on his website. So I'll, I'll get the brand here. So, okay. Fro froth hoseless lift. I know this stuff's really important. Um, and it's, it, it stuff's pretty expensive, right? It's 35 bucks for a bottle, but supposedly it's worth it. And I do also know I, I need to stop being cheap on some things with, with my car because it's not like I'm driving a GTR anymore or a, um, what else? A, a, you know, 135i or Zio, an old Z06. It's something I really need to take care of because it's expensive, right? So um, we've got that. You know what? I might just, I'll probably just buy, let's take a look at what's in these kits. So here's the wheel regiment kit. Plum, I know we definitely need to get plum. Uh, wheel soap, I would be cool with that. Mud tire gel is probably good for my truck. So I might as well, I think I might as well buy this whole kit right here. So let's add that. So we added the wheel kit. We added the froth. I don't know if I said that right. I don't know if it's frothe, but I would. I'm the the main things I wanted to get here that were my plan, and and I'm sure there's gonna be some people who are way more experts on this, and they're probably gonna be like, oh, bro, you should have also picked up this from Ammo because theirs is better than where you need it or whatever. Feel please tell me, guys. Like it's no big deal to go back and order another thing, right? So, um, I definitely wanted to get the plum. I wanted to get this little bottle squirter thing. Um, because it's both there. I know it's, a, it's kind of a ripoff for what it does, but it, theirs is like very good is what I've heard, even though it's expensive. 
Um, so the plum, the froth, and that. And then let's just see if there's anything else I think I might need. Shag fabric cleaner. If anyone uh, knows about the best way to keep up uh, Alcantara, um, feel free to shoot me a comment about, hey, buy this product for cleaning your Alcantara. Uh, let's see, foundation coat and gift cards. Okay, so I think I think we're good. I think that the, the kit I bought plus the froth, and then I just need to get this, this little doodad thing. Uh, so tools, the ammo aerator. I've been seeing, I'm gonna take a look at his wheel brush too. So let's uh, open this in a new tab, add that to cart, close these, and then let's take a look at this brush. It's 60 bucks for a brush, which makes me think like, what, what is so special about it? Is it is it different than a paint designed for cleaning rims, tires, and brake calipers? Soft bristles work to gently remove brake dust and road grime. I don't know, man. You guys, I'm gonna skip this one, but if someone knows that I if someone thinks I really should buy this, please sound off in the comments. Um and then let's take a look at this thing. Scrubber. Used to remove tough stains from various interior surfaces, such as leather and vinyl. I think I'm gonna grab one of these. It might be a rip off. It might just be like a magic eraser, but I'm gonna grab one. Okay, so go to my, go to the cart here. So 157 bucks total. Proceed to checkout, and uh, this is where I'm going to stop the video real quick to check out, and then I'll come right back. All right, so we are back. I placed that order. It is done. It was very fast, very easy. Now we're at the Rag Company website, and as I mentioned, I've already bought some towels. I bought a 25 pack of green. I think they were 850 weight, 70 30 blend or something like that. I just got them yesterday. Um, they're in the wash machine. They're in the wash machine from last night. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put them in the dryer. All right, so um, the Rag Company has a really cool product that I've seen talked about on two different YouTube channels. Uh, Tavarish, thank you, Tavarish. He has a Bentley detailed by the rag company and he, they had a really cool product that is a, um, it's a clay bar rag or cloth type thing all in one. So let's see where we can find that. Uh, exterior detailing, I'm guessing, uh, exterior detailing, clay bar towels, mitts. I think that would be it. And yeah, so here we go. So they've got clay mitts and clay towels pretty expensive but I definitely want to give this a shot so my understanding is that this is a towel you can use to wipe your car but it has a clay in it but it's not it's not the same as a clay bar they the guy explained it that um, all the dirt and grime that you usually would get on your clay where you would need to throw your clay away that gets into the towel like in the um, cloth material the microfiber material of it not into the clay so the clay aspect of this stays clean. I don't know how this makes sense. I know it probably sounds crazy to you because it sounds crazy to me, but you know, um, anyway, there's, there's a lot of people are hyping this thing up. So for 45 bucks, I'm willing to give it a shot if it's supposed to be better than a regular clay bar. I mean, not that, not that clay barring is hard. It's pretty easy. Let's see, this is, so this is $4 for a four ounce thing. So it's four uses plus shipping. Uh, let's see what the other prices are. I might as well just get more. Because it's gonna, I think you'll get it'll be cheaper with the shipping. Oh yeah, because I get I actually get free shipping because that towel I added was already pretty good price. I might as well buy this thirty two ounce thing. I feel like I'll use this a lot. Uh, I mean, maybe I'll end up not liking it, but so uh, between this and the um, the soap that I just bought, the froth from Ammo, it's it's kind of I believe uh, I'm I'm buying repetitive products, but I need I want, I'll probably want to figure out which one I like better. Um, and they're kind of they're I, I believe they're going to be doing a similar thing, but I think one of them I'll do I'll need to do some more research, but I believe one of them is more for like the froth might be more for a serious serious detail where this wash and shine is more of like a quick uh, you're not going to be doing a bunch of steps you're just hitting the car with some water and soap and you're going to try to walk away real fast and then maybe your car is not completely filthy either. Um, but he did talk about cleaning. If you have like a, a towels or something that are really dirty and you want to clean them really well, you can take some of this no rinse formula in a bucket 
and throw stuff into the bucket and let it soak in there for like a long time, like overnight or whatever. And you'll come back and whatever it was you put in that bucket, um, towels and maybe even said a clay bar or something. Oh, I think you were talking about the clay towel. When you're done, you throw it in there and it cleans it really well. So it's ready to use again. Um, so, okay. So we got the rag company. We did ammo. Uh, we're going to talk about Meguiar's next. There's one specific product, but there's, there's other products I want to get. Um, but there's specifically one product that I want to try. And that is uh, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax. A lot of There's a lot of hype going on right now about this product. It's fairly new. And it's, you know, the people on YouTube, they're, from my understanding, they're not paid uh, to do these reviews. And they all seem to really like it. And they show that they do it on, on the camera. And it, it does seem to be like a pretty good product. It's a little bit of a short, it's another, some of these products I'm buying are a little bit more of shortcut products. And you might be thinking like, hey, Aparsh, maybe you need to take your time. Maybe you need to pay a real detailer for that nice car of yours. Maybe you need to take your time and do like a lot of steps, lots of products and really go out like big time, go go big time on the car. But I don't know uh, because I know myself pretty well and I'd rather get something that's fast and easy and keeps the car looking good and, and protects the paint, keeps it clean a lot more um, consistently. If, if I know that I can clean my whole car like in 30 minutes and get it looking good in 30, 30 minutes instead of four hours. I don't know if you guys have ever fully detailed a car. It could take four hours, no problem. Um, if you're doing all the steps, four hours is, and it's easy to do four hours. So that's, that, I don't have four hours most days. If I, if I could do it in 30 minutes though, that's like skipping making one of the videos that you guys get. Um, or if I get one of my neighbor kids to do, I probably shouldn't trust a neighbor kid, but you know, if I can get one of my neighbor kids, if I can trust one um, and pay them, you know, 20 bucks or something, then maybe they can do it in half an hour, an hour. That'd be cool, too. So let's uh, I'm going to grab one of these. Uh, looks like Amazon has it for wow, more than everyone else. I wonder why Advanced Auto Parts has it for a better price. Um, and Auto Geek is also it looks like the MSRP must be $14.99 and that is look at these reviews this is really surprising three out of five stars is not good i would have expected this to be like a five out of five and i would have expected more reviews i wonder so i, I watched people's reviews and a lot of people said that you have to do the first application the right way which you put the you you clean your car with water and soap or whatever so you might soap it um and then wash the blast the soap away and then you might, or you might even have to clean it depending on how dirty your car is with, you know, um, a microfiber, but then you want to get it wet again. And then you spray this onto the wetness and then you, what you rub that in with the microfiber. Um, and your, your applications after that, you only need to spray it and then wash it. You don't need to use the microfiber again and rub it again. So I wonder, let's just take a look real quick at what these people are saying. I'm sure some, if you're watching this video to this far, you're probably interested in detailing products. You probably already clicked away if you weren't. So you're probably going to be interested like me. Like why are people complaining about this product that was touted pretty highly on YouTube? Um, so damaged bottle was down here. Product works, but buyers may get damaged bottle. So damaged bottles again. Cracked bottle. Can't win them all. Another bottle. Okay, so everyone, everyone that's using the product seems to really like the product. Everyone that doesn't is getting a bad bottle. So... You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way. I'm gonna buy one of these from a, a real store. So I'll, I'll run it out probably this weekend or something and, and grab one of these. I don't need it right this second. So I'm gonna go the old-fashioned way. I'm gonna pay the lower price, the $14.99, instead of paying the Amazon price and uh, get one in person. So the last thing, and, and you know what, Meguiar's makes some other stuff that's really good. Um, I've heard that they're, uh, the AMO New York City guy, he actually uses Meguiar's 101 uh, polishing compound and some other Meguiar's products that he he also mixes in with it. Yeah, mirror glaze. Okay, this is a foam cut compound. So he puts this on the you know, the orbital thing when he's uh, cleaning the car. <laughs> it's clear. I sound so dumb right now. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I'm talking about, do I? But uh, speaking of the orbital, I have one and it's a cheap one that was probably $20 on Amazon from like four years ago. Uh, Ammo New York City Orbital. He recommends... One that's really expensive, this one right here, the Roops Polisher 21. Um, I found one on eBay. 
that's probably gonna still sound really expensive. So this is a used one. I don't mind buying new stuff. I, I, and I, that's what I do for my business. I sell, you know, refurbished and used parts, and I use that stuff all the time. And a lot of used and refurbished things are better than new things because new things aren't always tested. That's why they got returned. Uh, I won't get into that. It's another story. So anyway, this is a. I offered one six. He wanted to do one sixty five plus the fifteen shipping. That's one eighty. That probably sounds expensive, but watch. This is how much they sell for new. Three hundred twenty dollars. So to me, something like this is going to get dirty, and it's it's a very highly built, you know, highly overbuilt product. It's going to hold up for a long time. I'm not worried about buying a used one. No big deal. I'll save. I'll save the money. Probably think I'm cheap. Some guy that has a GT3 S. What are you doing saving a hundred bucks? Why don't you just buy a new one? I, that's how I am. And some people might. I'm not rich. I just happen to save up enough money to buy a GT3 S. And I'm not even. If you watch my other videos, I'm leasing it, so my payments aren't that high. Um, I wanted to also talk to you guys about something really random before I cut this off. So, uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop drinking energy drinks. I've kind of like gone on and off them. Red Bull, Monster, usually Red Bull. Uh, sugar-free Red Bull has always been my favorite, but I've also drank Monsters here and there, and I, even a long time ago, I used to drink, like, Rock Stars, but um, I've been trying to really stay off of them, like, forever. I have a, I've heard too many stories of, and have friends that have had, like, heart problems and stuff from maybe drinking energy drinks, so um, I, I don't, and I don't like coffee, so I've been drinking a Yerba Mate, this isn't a product placement or advertisement, but I've been drinking Yerba Mate, which is, like, a, a tea, uh, it's a non-carbonated tea. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but my understanding is it's supposed to be more natural than energy drinks and hopefully better for you over time. But if you guys have any other suggestions, I think it tastes really good. This is the mint flavor one. But if you guys have any other suggestions of caffeinated drinks that are maybe more on the um, healthy side, something that you think you can drink every day without negatively affecting your body, um, please suggest something. I'd, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. But uh, as usual, my videos always go too long. I don't know how long this video is now, but it's probably too long. And uh, I hope you guys like talking about detailing products. And if you have your own detailed product suggestions, I'm loving to hear that kind of stuff. And uh, just real quick, let's uh, check where the YouTube subscribers are because that's what I've been talking to you guys or what some people said begging what am i i'm pathetic because i'm begging for subscribers but that's my goal is to get to the thousand subscribers and uh i appreciate everyone that's subscribing if you guys can subscribe that'd be great looks like i'm up to 176 that's really good that's like i got 26 subscribers in the, in the past 24 hours that is fantastic uh thank you guys for subscribing so that's great if you haven't subscribed yet i i would appreciate it and uh you know that's just the goal right now is to get to the thousand subscribers and um and then obviously we'll set another goal from there if it's something that we're going to keep going after here so i uh, hope you guys have a great day and looking forward to hearing back from you guys in the comments or if you want to um email me or, or dm me on instagram my my information for that is also in the description of the video thanks guys